Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and I'm waking up for more Let's Play Dragon Quest V! Since last time I finished all the level grinding that I did, it took me about 10-15 minutes or so, so not too bad. Let's take a look at what we got here. Got the new equipment for Abel there, so pretty standard there. We learned the heal spell for him at level 4, which restores HP. Squelch cures the poison status ailment, just like the last game. I handed down some equipment to Bianca there, so pretty easy there. Uh, she learned Frizz, which is fire elemental damage on one enemy, and Dazzle, which hits a group of enemies, not all enemies, just a group of enemies, and it drastically reduces their hit percentage, like a blind spell or the darkness status. So that'll be pretty nice for us. Not so much early in the game, it's really more useful later in the game when the enemies start hitting harder and it's actually worth spending the MP on that. So, eh, Bianca doesn't have much to say. Uh, just like every other Dragon Quest game, you got you want to try and stay in the open areas. Uh, now, we got a new enemy, a couple new enemies, Fat Rat, which will run away if you don't kill it fast enough. So, we want to attack them like that. Bunicorns we met up with before. But I was saying about walking in open areas, uh, the encounter rate there is lower than in, like, hills, desert, forests, things like that. So, that's why we were walking like that with... Uh, Pankras earlier. Got another new enemy, Combatter Pillar, which is basically just normal enemy, nothing special about them. So I'll just take them out. I also increased the battle speed so we can get through these battles a little faster there with the text and everything. So let's take a look around the Uptaken Towers. Yeah, we gotta save the kitty! Yeah, not exactly the most compelling first real quest in a JRPG, but, well, we'll go with it. It's a nice, fun little adventure. Let's see if we can just walk right in the front door. Nuts. Um, you're just being paranoid, Bianca. I, I wouldn't worry about that. But anyway, let's go raid some of their treasure. I'm sure the ghosts won't mind. Stuff we've already gotten before, but well, you can never have enough medical herbs. Or medicinal herbs. Man, it's going to take me forever to get used to that, like, insulatol. But anyway, let's see what's over here to the right. Nothing! Just another locked door. How are we going to get inside? Ah, there we go. Well, they just left the door wide open for us. Oh. We got inside at least. We got the red carpet rolled out for us and everything. Let's see what's in these coffins. Oh. oh for a second there, I thought there'd be ghosts or something in there. What the? Nuts. They're cursed. Curse all seeds. I, I mean, uh, wait a minute, that, that's another game. Uh, what happened to Bianca? Gotta find her. Ah, there we go. Yeah, sometimes the door is kind of hard to see there. What was that sound? What would you like on your tombstone? I like pepperoni myself. Nuts. I didn't think you could read it all. Oh. They killed her off already? No. But thou must. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Hey, hey, all right. She's still alive, isn't she? I'm six years old. What, and that's it? You get buried alive, and you're just like, eh, okay, let's just keep on going. Like, you're eight years old, and wow. I guess she doesn't know how serious the situation is. Ah, there we go, a secret passage. Apparently so. I'll try to remember to use the party talk with Bianca to get a little dialogue from her. 
probably won't get every line of dialogue. I don't know every single trigger for them, but... Well, I'll see. Oh, really? Oh. Nuts. Can you read that, Bianca? Probably not. Maybe we should try coming back here later. When we learn how to read. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anyone around here. You'd figure... I don't know, there'd be people running the place with villages and everything around here. Hmm, a silver tea... Silver tea tray. I try saying that three times fast. And here we get a hand-woven cape, which you might want to save for later. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I'll think about it. Good evening. Ten. Ten years ago. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. So, the monsters were kidnapping the rich kids? No wonder they're dropping money everywhere whenever I kill them. What would monsters have any use for money, though? Oh. Well, wow. do the best I can. Well, let's take a look around for more of those ghosts. Now there's nothing behind there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go up. Whoa! Oh, I forgot that was there. <laughs> yeah, you can... Whoa! Yeah, there's hidden pitfalls everywhere around here, so... Gotta be careful with this place. And if you notice on the top screen there, there's some treasure there, but we can't get those yet, so... Huh. Yeah, it did kind of look like a king. Hmm. Well, it's a JRPG, but I suppose you haven't played this one before, have you, Bianca? Where's he going? Maybe he doesn't want the ghosts to overhear him or something. I don't know. Well, we can't go back upstairs. So, let's take a look around. Ah, there he is. Well, yeah, we, we don't know any better. Now, that must take a while. No! Just let me out of here, man! They already tried to bury me alive once. <laughs> I didn't quite hear you! But thou must! Ah, okay. Well, we tried going to the throne room, but there's... It's all... Yeah, it's dark there and everything. We need to learn the Radiant Spell. No, no, that's another game. Huh. Oh, okay, let's head on back then. Right, what's going on? Oh, sorry. Right, how are we gonna take care of that? Oh, okay, so we gotta get a torch to light the room there. We could, you can't just use the lightning to figure out where to go. So, oh, he's gonna open all those rusty doors that we uh, couldn't open before, so thanks a lot. So yeah, the torch will help us more than just lighting up the room. Well, you'll see when we get there, viewers. I don't want to spoil it for you. Not really a plot spoiler, but... Well, no, still. Honestly, I find music spoilers more spoilery or more annoying than plot spoilers. Nadiria? Grandmaster Nimzo? Sounds like a dumb name. But anyway. Well, let's see if we can find a way down to that basement. And we got a new enemy, Bona Constrictor. It's like a Boa Constrictor, except more death. But anyway, uh, yeah, nothing too special about these guys. Just go all out, you're all set. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the guy was talking about Nadiria. That was from the last game. But we already killed the, the guy in charge of Nadiria in the last game. Hmm. What are they doing? They're just forcing you to dance? 
I could talk to more of them, but they kind of all say the same thing. Mostly the same thing. So, whatever. Oh. Talking flame ghost things. Whatever. Oh, there's the ghost. And uh, Willow the Whips. Or something. I don't know. Uh, they can cast Sap. I wanted to try and kill them. Uh, what Sap does, if you didn't play any of the other games, uh, it removes all your physical defense. So, yeah, that's really bad. It only works on one character, though. So, yeah, I wanted to try and kill him first, but couldn't. So, oh well. What kind of special ingredient? Oh, oh okay. Kind of reminds me of something from Chrono Trigger. Hey, hey! All right, we got the torch. So, and you can use that one infinitely. It's a key item. So, not like the first game. No, no. Honestly, I don't like it when games make you use torches to light up dark areas. And... Wax murderer! Really, game? Really? Okay. Well, anyway, these guys can cast frizz on you. So. Uh, yeah, you want to take them out as quickly as you can. Damn, we're going to need a lot of healing after this one. Hey, let me show off the uh, healing option here. You go to miscellaneous. Went through that a little too quickly there. but There's a heal all option, and that'll cause any of your magic healers to you cast heal over and over and over again until you get up to max. So it'll do it real fast for you as opposed to well, doing it manually. Let's see what's up here. Oh, it's an empty room. Okay. How's it going? Sure, why not? Well, a free stay at a ghost mansion. Why not? Okay, how's it going? How did we get out here? Oh. oh, okay. Well, we did get our HP and MP restored, so that's pretty nice. But will the torch scare away the ghosts? Can we drive them away from the castle? What about the kitty? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!